channel, I'm Lado Niebach and welcome to another video. First timer, then go and subscribe to the channel. I suck when it comes to using different backgrounds. Usually I'm just going with a plain black. Use a main light with a nice backlight to whatever subject I'm shooting. But I like that style and I like how it looks so simple, but kind of elegant, looks fresh. I try to develop my skills and find new ways to create scenes that have more details in them. If you shoot for a clothing brand, you want to make the scene so it fits the brand and find the perfect backdrop for just that brand. If you're shooting a product, you can use things to frame the object, but you can also use a nice backdrop to just give it a special design. Depending on the photo you wanna take, most of the time it comes in handy to have a nice backdrop. I don't say you always need one. Some photos are better off with whatever's in the frame already or in the background. You wanna keep it natural. You want it to look serious, and not too flashy. I would say keep it to a single color backdrop. Another benefits of using single color backdrops or backgrounds, it's way easier if you're gonna work on the photo in Photoshop afterwards in the post process. At the same time, a nice backdrop can be used to make a scene pop. It needs to be combined with a nice light. Either a studio light or you just use a window with some natural light. With a nice backdrop and a nice light, you can make a photo. Looks like it's not even shot in a studio. Take Peter McKinnon, for example. His latest profile pic, it was shot in a studio, but it was made in a way that it, it doesn't even look like it's shot in a studio. It looks like it's shot in like a misty forest somewhere in like the mountains. And the nice thing with backdrops, you don't need to buy a super expensive from a store. Grab your bed sheet and hang it up. And that will give you a neutral backdrop or take an old one. That's better in two ways. There's a risk you will end up ruining the sheet. And by using an old one, it gives the background a little bit more texture if it's like worn out, like it used to roughen up. Let me know what you think about using backdrops or not. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can be here when I drop the next video. Hold on.